So, so even when I when I became um, active as a um, um, you know, young budding uh, theologian, and, um, I was center of uh, or among, with other people, I organized a youth group in my father's church. It was a very carefully monitored. My my parents' house was bugged. Oh wow! Uh, oh wow! So wow. that you had to always be careful what you talk about, and yeah. we kind of learned how to censor uh, ourselves. Uh, but later on, that's after I've already started on my PhD work, I've been to the States and, and to Germany, uh, I was conscripted uh, to uh, military service. Um, mm -hmm. And the um, room in which I was, was bugged and conversations were all staged. And about three months uh, later, there was a kind of file that thick uh -huh. on me, everything that I've said, and of course a lot of things from before, and then mm -hmm. interrogation. Started yeah. and it lasted, um, I think, if I recall correctly, about two months off and on, um, where I was threatened with uh, eight years of imprisonment because I've said this or that uh, against our great, uh, great state or whatever that yeah. was. So there was a, a sense of uh, <coughs> persecution, if you want, uh, or at least uh, maybe it's maybe too strong compared to what other people are experiencing. Uh, what people of faith, Christians and others as well, are experiencing. But it was a strong pressure and the idea was somehow that faith is subversive, that faith is dis the, the destabilizing the given order yeah. of, of things. Yeah. And which in some sense was true, even though we were not, in, and in a profound sense was true in the ways in which they did not quite uh, realize but not in overtly political ways, at least not, uh, not for us. Mm -hmm.